Today I will be painting a boat scene. I will try and describe some of the painting and compositional techniques that I'm using uh, as you watch uh, my painting. The image I'm using is in the top left hand corner. I took this photo while vacationing down in Charleston, South Carolina. I'm sketching with a 2B mechanical pencil and using a quarter sheet of Saunders cold press paper. I start by sketching the main fishing boat and you may wonder why I'm placing it in the center of the composition but I'll be adding some figures to the left and with the dark value of uh, the dock I'm hoping to draw the viewers attention to the left side of the composition. takes a few corrections to get the boat exactly like I want it, but luckily the Saunders paper holds up nicely to all of the erasing and redrawing. I also add a hint of the rigging uh, to act as a reference for when I'm painting. The pavilion to the left of the boat uh, is a little too complicated, uh, so I'm going to simplify that by making it just a solid building and it will act nicely as a background to my figures. On the right side of the composition is my background. I don't want a lot of detail here, but I'm going to sketch in the hint of a few boats and some small buildings and a tree line. Uh, there's a large building in the photo, but I don't really like that, so I'm going to leave that out. Although it's not in the photo, I'm adding a small fishing boat to the left-hand side of the composition to act as sort of a supporting actor to the main large fishing boat. I start out with a graded wash across most of the paper. And in order to make sure that I have enough paint to do this, I want to mix the colors on my palette ahead of time. I'm using cobalt blue and a little bit of cerulean blue, uh, also some cad red and alizarin. And I'm going to add some yellow ochre as I work down the page. Also careful to leave some whites, specifically on the boat cabin and hull. For the water, I'm going to use the same colors but add a little bit of violet a little bit more cerulean blue to my mixture. And I'm going to start very light towards the horizon and get darker as I work down. Next I add, want to add some ripples to the water, pre-mixing a dark grayish purple blue in my palette. The paper is a little bit dry so I want to add some moisture with my mister first. And even after I add the ripples, I add additional moisture because I want to soften those ripples. I feel the water is too light in value, so I want to add some additional washes to uh, darken that water up. And 
the, you'll notice I do that with the paper upside down uh, just to make it a little bit easier to create that graded wash that I want because I still want to keep it light towards the horizon. I'm careful to let the paper dry in between the washes because I don't want to work wet it to wet and disturb uh, the first wash with the second wash. On the right hand side, which is my background, I'm going to add some trees and the hints of a couple of rooftops. I try to vary my color as much as possible, uh, mixing on the paper and not necessarily on the palette. Uh, this makes it look a little more realistic, a little more interesting. I'm not looking to add a lot of detail, I just want some basic shapes. But I also don't want one solid mass, so I will leave some holes uh, to give the impression of detail without specifying what those details may be. I start working on the shading of the hull of the boat, trying to give it a three-dimensional feel. I also will be adding the shadow in the water. The shadow in the water will start out looking somewhat cartoon-like, but I have to trust that as I develop it with some of the other reflections in the water, it will, it will look more realistic. I add some more detail to the hull of the boat, again trying to emphasize the three-dimensionality of the shape. I'm going to add some detail to the cabin of the boat, keeping in mind the shape of the cabin. It's not a perfectly smooth curve, it's more of a series of panels uh, that give it that curved look. Now I'm going to add the background boats on the right hand side of the composition and you'll notice the holes are simply just rectangular shapes uh, that I paint with the brush. Uh, careful to leave some whites above those uh, to give the impression of cabins. And I wet the paper with a damp brush and then scrape in some highlights for the masts. I quickly block in the building on the left, careful to keep uh, the white space for the figures. I start adding 
the rigging to the boats and I'm not trying to add every single detail uh, but I want to suggest the basic shapes and make sure I do add enough so that the viewer gets the impression of the complexity of the rigging. I want to add some more detail to the boats in the background uh, and the buildings. I'm not looking uh, for a lot of detail, just want to make some suggestions of windows, uh, masts, shadows, uh, etc. Uh, I'm getting a good range of values in the background, yet you'll notice that the darkest value uh, is still lighter than the darkest values that I have in the windows of the main uh, fishing boat and what will be the docks uh, to the left of the main fishing boat. I finish adding the small fishing boat on the left hand side uh, with its shadow in the water and I also do some negative painting around that fishing boat uh, with the, the darker value for uh, what eventually will be the dock uh, where the uh, figures will be standing. I'm now going to use my darkest dark, which is a combination of ultramarine blue, sepia, and a little bit of violet. And I'm going to paint the dock along with its reflection and shadow in the water. And then I will combine that shadow with the shadows of the small fishing boat and the main fishing boat. I'm adding some more details to the rigging of the boat, some uh, masts in the far distant background, uh, some ropes to the boat, uh, just some minor details that I feel uh, will add to the composition. Now I'm darkening uh, the shadows some more underneath the boats in the dock, uh, adding some detail there uh, to reflect uh, the detail of uh, what's above, for example, the, the rigging of the fishing boats. Uh, some additional ripples uh, to match the shadows as well.
I feel that the water area uh, towards the horizon on the right hand side is a little too light so I'm going to add, add a wash and actually warm that up as well. Now I'm going to spend a little time adding some color to the composition, uh, just in bits and pieces, uh, some flags, etc. Uh, and I'm going to use lavender, uh, some cad red, uh, some cad orange, uh, basically straight out of, out of the tube. Uh, I'll also use some uh, white gouache to add in some highlights that I've lost. And here's the final painting. Leave a comment below and let me know if this is helpful to you. And also, don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.